Hi guys, today is a video about self-concept, which I don't think I've really touched upon in quite a few videos recently. So I wanted to focus on that today and it seems like a popular topic. And it's actually something I've been quite critical of in uh, terms of manifesting your SP. So today's gonna be a video specifically talking positively about self-concept, giving my recommendations on how to work on it specifically and tying in scripting. Scripting again, it's more of an kind of uh, underrated, not underrated, yeah? Yeah, underrated, um, I forgot that that was a real wor word, honestly, I don't know what's going on with my mind today, but it is an underrated form of manifestation. I really like scripting, I think it's a great way to get clear on your goals and kind of imprint them on your subconscious mind. So I'm gonna give you guys my advice all on this topic today. Do stay tuned and thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Um, all of this is right below the video you're watching, right below the screen. So yeah, please do that. Um, you can stay up to date with all my content and I would really appreciate it. We're getting closer and closer to 5,000 subscribers, which is amazing. And I also offer coaching. So if that is something you're interested in or if you're new to my channel, you may not know this, I do offer coaching services. So everything about my packages, prices, anything to do with booking in coaching with me is linked below. In my Instagram page, which is LOA Coaching, I have two, my personal page and then my coaching one. So you can click there through the description box. If you wanna see um, all the highlights I have, you can look me up, LOA Coaching, on your Instagram app, obviously. And yeah, all the information is there for prices and how to book. So now let's get into the video. First point is talking about writing out. So obviously scripting is writing out um, your desired outcome, your affirmations, your manifestation, it's literally just whether it's pen and paper, which sometimes can be a little bit more powerful, or just typing it up, you know, on your laptop or phone, and um, you can put it in your little notes app if you have an iPhone, I'm sure there's um, an exact equivalent for Android users and, I don't know, Google phone or whatever, um, but either way you can find something like this on any electronic device really, you know, laptop, iPad, whatever. It doesn't really matter where you write it, it's more about what you write. But once you're starting to write it out, I would recommend creating a short paragraph all about your self-concept because yes, scripting is good for any topic, but today it's only about self-concept. So think about your ideal self, the ideal version of you, how that looks, and try and go maybe six months uh, into the future and look at yourself from that perspective. And you're looking back on who you are as a person and how you've developed into this amazing version and you're looking at yourself sitting in six months from now and being like, wow, look at all these amazing things, you know, I feel amazing. So think about that version of you and you've manifested everything you want, how do you feel? And it's not really about the emotions, but it's more how do you feel in yourself? What do you feel accomplished and proud and confident and balanced and wise? Have you learned a lot throughout the past six months? Have you just grown into the most amazing version of yourself? So you wanna think about that and you know, oh, I feel so amazing, I've got everything I want, I'm so confident, you know, I never second guess myself. And it doesn't need to be realistic, don't be like, well, but I have this and this and this insecurity. It doesn't matter, we're thinking from an ideal version, okay? That's how we manifest, we don't say, we don't do affirmations like, I maybe have a little bit more confidence. No, we say I'm the most confident woman, man in the world, right? So think about the ideal version. You're completely just perfect in every way. Um, six months from now, you're just living your dream life. So write out a short paragraph based on that concept. And once you've got that, obviously you can edit it. If it's on your phone or laptop or something, it's a lot easier to edit. So you can, you know, um, delete certain sentences and rewrite them, put in different adjectives and be like, oh, I like that and you know, I want this phrase in here. Totally edit it and update it. But you wanna keep it relatively short because you don't wanna sit there for an hour having to read all these crazy details. You just wanna summarize an overview of your ideal self six months from now. So now you wanna think about how do you handle your 3D reality? And this is separate, so you've got your paragraph and now maybe bullet points or short sentences or short phrases, whatever it may be. Think about how do you handle your 3D reality? You know, How are you handling your manifestations? What mindset would you be in six months from now if you were to get everything you want and obviously understand manifestation? 
just be a really amazing, powerful, wise, co uh, conscious creator. So think about, you know, well, how do I react um, to my 3D reality? How do I handle it? Do, uh, what is my confident mindset to be able to get everything I want? How did I achieve all these amazing things? So I've written out a few phrases that I'm gonna read out to you guys off my phone um, that are examples of things you can write and what I'm trying to say here. Uh, so things like, no one else has free will in my reality. I can change anything I want. I'm a queen, I'm a king. Everything always goes my way. People conform to my ideal version of them. The 3D reality or my 3D reality is completely malleable in my hands and that means it can be shaped. So you can write, um, if that word doesn't really resonate with you, you can say my 3D reality is completely changeable in my hands, you know? I can shape my 3D reality into anything I want, something like that. Um, my 3D reality conforms to my desires every day. You can also obviously say things like, I have the best mental diet in the world, nothing phases me, I only have positive reactions, anything like that. So that's you being super confident, trusting, powerful, balanced, trusting in the process, knowing that with your manifestation practices, you get anything and everything you want, so there's no need to worry. That's the kind of mindset you wanna think from. So write maybe up to like 10 sentences or phrases relating to that. And once you've got that, use that as a base for your verbal rampages. So we're going off from scripting now into other practices, but this is a really good way to incorporate it into your affirmations because you might realize, wow, this is what I want for my self-concept. And you can pick out sentences and phrases from there and apply it there. So one practice in addition to this is rampaging. I have a whole video talking about this, so I'm not gonna explain it step by step, but you know, if you wanna do it for five or 10 minutes, set up your timer so you know how long it's been in, um, and then just yeah it's verbal rampages are obviously best out loud so it's a lot harder I think to do in your mind but you can if you're if you're busy if you don't have time to yourself that's fine you can try it in your own mind but when you're home alone for example um, in a hotel whatever like wherever you are where you have a private space to yourself um, set up your timer and then just go off, like literally um, say all those phrases and use all, everything you've written down as a base for what you want to say for your self-concept. So anything like, no one has free will in my reality, they conform to everything I say. And then, you know, pick out phrases from what you've written about yourself in the paragraph and use that as a basis for rampaging about your self-concept. You can also read this whenever you need to pick me up or a little boost, you need a reminder of you know how powerful you are, you're spiraling, you're just not sure you're having doubts, go back to this and you know read it, read everything you've scripted, um, say it out loud to yourself, read it over out loud, do a verbal rampage for five minutes. And then my next point is to read them out loud to yourself whilst looking in the mirror. So this is essentially, I think, what is called mirror work. So look in a mirror, it doesn't have to be a big full length one, it can be a small bathroom mirror, it can be a vanity mirror, anything. Just look at yourself, stand in a confident pose with your hands on your hips or do something silly and fun, you know? Pretend you're Beyonce, what would Beyonce do on stage, right? Like she does that, hands on the hips and she looks really powerful and confident and I think that's the mindset and persona that she embodies, right? So that's kind of the sort of thing you wanna do and no one's looking, no one's around, it's just you. Um, so be as silly and free as you want with it. Do a confident pose, look in the mirror and read these out loud to yourself. If you need to look at your laptop at the same time or whatever it is you've written it on, um, you can do that. So read them off um, the script and then eventually you will memorize it. The more you do this, it will just become second nature to say it to yourself. I used to do this a lot and I should probably get back into it where I would do my self-concept in the mirror, point at myself, you know, give myself attitude as if I really, really believe what I'm saying and I'm arguing it. So yeah, get into a confident state, whether it's rampaging, repeating it back to yourself in the mirror, because I really think this will help. The more uncomfortable you feel, the more reason that you should do this, because it will get more and more normal and comfortable. You'll feel better complimenting yourself. You will feel better saying positive things about yourself. It will no longer feel awkward or uncomfortable. So I really think the more you put effort into these practices for your self-concept, you will feel honestly unstoppable and amazing and beautiful and handsome, you know, whatever it may be. So hopefully all of these um, 
points made sense. I really think scripting can help a lot. If you don't enjoy the practice, at least try it once. And if you, it's really not for you and you prefer to just do um, other forms and just, you know, affirmations in your mind, keep going with that. But I really think if you want to boost your self-concept, you feel like you're maybe struggling or lacking in this area, these practices are amazing. And as I said, scripting is amazing. It's not a substitute for affirmations, but it really, really can speed up your manifestation. It can manifest things that you have little resistance to or just really crazy unexpected things. Honestly, I've had that experience myself. And I think I have a whole video about success that um, I've achieved just through scripting. So yeah, I love this practice and I hope you guys test this out. Let me know in the comments if you do and how it feels afterwards. And yeah, do thumbs up, subscribe, turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.